Hi there, artist. So today we are going to start a two-day artwork, and today we're going to focus on our b -b -b background. And then next, our class, we're going to be doing something called collage, and we're going to collage a paper owl. But today, once again, we're focusing on the background, which is what's behind our main subject, the owl. You can see on this one, I use lots of lines, there's some zigzag and shapes to create my artwork. So I use shapes to create an animal. Can you see that I made a rectangle, a circle, triangles, and I made a little fox. I created some houses by using squares and triangles. And I created some trees by using triangles too. And then I used some different like wavy lines to create a tree and circles to make it look like leaves hanging onto the trees. So, oh, and a big circle, of course, for the moon. So I'm gonna change this. You can uh, use your paper horizontally, like I have that one, or you can have it vertically, just for so that you can see two different things. I'm gonna have this paper vertical. So the first thing we do is always the same. We write down our name. So on the back using, these are going to be special crayons. They're construction paper crayons. They work really well on construction paper. So you can write your name in a corner and flip it over. Don't write your name huge because if you write your name huge in the middle, if you mess up, you won't be able to use the other side. All right, kiddos. So what I really want to show you is how to start. The first thing we're gonna do is, I'm gonna give you a template to trace or a stencil to trace. It's in the shape of an oval. You can use any of your special crayons. I'm gonna use white. And I could put my owl anywhere on my paper. Remember, I could have my paper horizontal too. It's up to you. I'll go ahead and put this one in the middle because the other one I put off to the side. To use a stencil, I'm holding it with one hand and with my drawing hand, I'm gonna go right on the edge and I'm going to push along the edge, not away from it, I'm pushing against the stencil paper and I am trace, 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 trace. Uh-oh, I'm at my hand, I'll have to jump around it. Trace, 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 trace. If it moves, oh gosh, it just moved. Oops. You can look at what you've already got and you could see if you can put it back like a puzzle. No problem. Okay. Now I could pass this to somebody else because some people are gonna be waiting for the stencils. There's my owl outline. Today I'm not gonna do anything with the owl. That's it, that's the only part. I just wanna know where it goes. I am gonna use a color to make a branch because owls are sitting in the trees. So to start my branch, let's see here. Brown I like the best, but I'm gonna use a different color just to make sure you can see it from the video. And I'm gonna make a big line and I'm trying to go back and forth. I can even make the branch break off like they do and have different places by making some wiggly lines. And I go back and forth and I make it really thick and it's touching the bottom of the owl. All right, now my owl part is officially done and everything else that you do today is going to be up to you. Like I said in this one, I added, used shapes and lines to make an outdoor scene. And I put it a moon because owls are nocturnal, meaning they are awake at night. If you don't want to do an outdoor scene or the scene of a zoo or something, you can still just add shapes everywhere. But you're going to work for most of art class making your artwork awesome. I'm gonna put, pick any color, and on this one I'm gonna do very different than I did, and I'm gonna just put lots of shapes. I'm going to make triangle shapes which have how many signs? Three. And so I make an arrow up and then I close it, and I'm gonna color it in using my best coloring skills. I'm pressing kind of hard, because I want it to look good. And instead of changing colors every time, I think it looks good if I add many shapes in one color before I change colors. 
Oh gosh, I need to add some to the bottom for balance. I am not going to finish mine because really I could spend all art class making different shapes and coloring them in, but I can just do a little bit. How about I do a square shape? One, two, three, four, and I color it in. All right, now I'm gonna stop coloring mine in because again, you're not here to watch me do art. So how you decorate your background is up to you, all right? You can also do lines, remember? So maybe, I'm not gonna squiggle lines, I'm gonna think, maybe I'll have a wavy line across the top. Aren't these crayons awesome? They're so bright, even on our dark blue paper. And for balance, I'm gonna have one at the bottom because I did one at the top. I'm gonna add one at the bottom for balance. And I can keep adding different shapes until my paper is complete. I'm not putting any in the middle because I remember that next art class, we're going to be using paper to collage an owl, all right? So I can't wait to see what ideas you have. I'm gonna stop the camera now so I can continue playing on my background. Happy arting.